Hello creators, welcome and welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. In today's video, we are going to dive into the Lumetri color panel. I will teach you how to color correct your videos in Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm going to use three different clips just to teach you how to color correct different clips shot in different environments. If you want to follow along, I will leave the link in the description to those stock videos so that you can download them and follow me as I go. Alright guys, to get started, I brought these three clips to my project. First, we need few tools to open in the Premiere Pro. Now to open those tools, go to Window and Lumetri Color. There you have it on the right side, Lumetri Color. We need one more tool, so go to Window again, and this time you're going to select Lumetri Scope. Now in Lumetri Scope, you right click and make sure Vector Scope, YUV, and Wave Form Luma is checked. If your waveform is not Luma, you can go to Waveform Type and change it to Luma. Now you have it, guys. For the first clip, we are going to use the basic editing tool to fix the color here. For the second one, we are going to use basic as well as the curve. And for the third video clip, we are going to use basic, creative, curves, as well as color wheel and match. Alright, so we have these three clips here. So in the Lumetri scope, your waveform represents the wave. This is the darkest part of your video. And this is the highlight, most highlighted part or the brightest part of the video. Your goal is make sure this white, the highlight part reaches the 100 and the darkest part reaches the dark. But the majority of the waveform stays in the middle between 80s and 20. Whereas in the vector scope, your goal is that all the colors should stay within that circle and should not go out of. And this line here, if you see, this represents the color tone of your skin. In my first clip, I don't have a skin, so I don't have to worry about this line here. But I have to make sure that my color stays here. Now you can see on my vector scope, it shows me I have a lot of red in my highlight and mid-tone and I have some blues usually represent this area here. So let's go ahead and start it. Click on the video and I'm gonna go to basic. I'll make a little bit bigger here and this a little bit smaller. In the basic, my goal again as I said to stay between this 80 and 20. So I'm gonna start with the dark again. If I increase it, it's too far away and I'm gonna slowly decrease it until I reach a little bit here, about 0.6. And I'm gonna increase my white until it reaches or the touch the top point. So it's about 41, 39.1 it's kind of pretty good here you see it reaches here the next I'm going to do is decrease my shadow to create that contrast between the highlight and the shadow so I'm gonna decrease my shadow all the way to 16 0.8 something around here looks good and then I'm going to increase my highlight probably here 39.1 I will increase my exposure a little bit about decrease my sh sh highlight again and then finally I have contrast and saturation left I'm gonna increase my saturation okay I, I'm not gonna go all the way here because if you see it's gonna go way high this is like too saturated I don't want that much either so I'm gonna double click zero I'm gonna come back here from the beginning, probably here, 135, 135.4 something. Finally, I'm gonna increase my contrast a little bit. I like, I think, 41. So this is how it looks like. So if I click on this icon here, which is before, and after so this looks pretty good so this is one easiest way of color correction now let's go to the second clip and look a little bit more complex along with the color correction we also have to fix the white balance in this video in this video if you see this pillar it's supposed to look white it's not looking white because in our clip we have a lot of orange color that's why if you see the skin tone it is also looking a lot of orangey now to fix the white balance first I will select this white balance uh, color picker and I'm gonna select the area which I think thing should look white but it's not looking white in my video this white pillar should look white so i'm gonna click on that there you go it looks pretty good now premiere pro literally did an amazing job suggesting me the best white balance here so i will leave my tint and temperature as it is because i think it looks good to me but if you're not happy you can always fix this with this two slider i'm gonna keep it back to the way they were now again we'll start with this slider again so i'm gonna decrease the black first to minus 5.6 just to create a little bit dark you see here this waveform i don't want to go all the way up as soon as it touches the ground like this thing the zero part i'm gonna leave it there maybe a little bit more down okay that's 2.5 basically I think that looks good I'm gonna increase my white all the way to 100 because you see here I haven't reached that 100 bar even though it looks too bright here but it's not enough especially it's a night time then I'm gonna decrease my shadow a little bit this time not too much because shadow brings a lot of contrast as well so a little bit probably 3.1 3.1 looks good then I'm gonna increase the highlight a little bit not too much again 19.9 20 whatever you like exposure a little bit I'm gonna go 
probably my exposure I would go as like one I don't want too much exposure here all right the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to curves and in the curves I have this RGB curves which is the middle one is kind of works on the light on RGB then you also have a separate red green and blue curves which we are not going to work on this video I will make another tutorial for that your goal is again in the curve slider is to create S here like s here all right so i'm gonna click a point here and then i'm gonna click another point here and one in the middle now i will make this area darker because we need this darker area darker so this pixel this point here represent the darkest pixel in your video and this represent the brightest pixel the middle one is the middle ground which is the mid-tone or the gray area so if i decrease this part you can see the darker area is gonna get a little bit more darker and then i'm gonna increase this upper point to make bright area more brighter then i will also increase this to get the middle area the mid-tone a little bit more bright i think this looks pretty good to me so this is before using curve this is after using curve so you see how much contrast we created in the lights now let's go back to the basic and in the basic i'm gonna increase saturation maybe about 130 114.3 this looks pretty good now we'll also increase our contrast a little bit i don't want to decrease to bring the red i'm going to increase my contrast to about 6.4 this looks really good to me now you can see that this is the before this is the after now let's go to the third one the third one is a very tricky video here because this video is a log file it was shot with sony a7 s to fix the color in this video we are going to use the basic the creative curves as well as the color wheels and match we're going to start with the basic to match this the waveform so i'm going to decrease the black to about somewhere here looks pretty good i know it hasn't reached the lowest point but it's okay then i'm going to increase the white probably 14 Point three. I'm going to decrease the shadow as well here 63.4 you see how I'm bringing all of them together and the goal is to stay between 20 and 80 remember that part here and try to reach the highest and the lowest as well at the same time and I'm gonna increase the highlight 20.5 I'm gonna increase the contrast a little sorry exposure a little bit four four looks good this is before this is after we haven't done much yet because the colors still look pretty faded now we are going to go to the color wheel here and in the color wheel we have shadows again the darkest pixel mid tone the mid part and the highlight the brightest pixel so we'll start always with the highlight we're gonna go up we're gonna go all the way up to see how far we can go we're also gonna go up in the mid-tone a little bit to bring that thing and we're gonna bring down all the shadows down here like that Alrighty, we are reaching now we need more help to reach this point so we're gonna go this time to curve again we'll create the same point like last time the three points we're gonna bring the dark down now finally we are able to reach that zero level we're gonna increase the bright up same way we're gonna increase the bright here as well all right this looks pretty decently good as of now but the green and the skin tone doesn't look as good as you think so we need to fix that to fix that color thing we go to hue saturation curve here i'm gonna click here then you have these three sliders or three curves he was a saturation that helps you to increase the saturation this one is he versus hue helps you to change the color of anything you like and he versus luma that helps you to change the or brightness or the darkness of that color i will work on all three and we understand how it works so i'm gonna take this color picker first and i'm I'm gonna go select the green so now you see it has created three point the middle point is actually where you're gonna work so i'm gonna increase this to make that more green you can see that if i go down it's gonna go super black and white and so i'm gonna increase that a little bit i might create another point and increase this also a little bit okay so my green is a little up then i'm gonna come here hue versus hue and i will select that same green area and make it more green it is kind of looking a yellowish shade of green so i'm gonna increase this one towards the green not towards the yellow but towards the green a little bit you see how it's looking better same thing i'm gonna create another point and decrease this also towards the green you see bef this is before this is before this is after so we are fixing that part now we do have a lot of highlights here a little bit so we're gonna fix that as well now let's also work on her skin so i'm gonna take another color picker icon and gonna select on the skin here now you have three points again i'm gonna increase that you see that how color is coming here in her leg Alrighty. now we have this again and if you see here we have a lot of highlights so i'm gonna fix that so go to he versus luma take the color picker click on the leg and let's decrease that highlight not too much just a little maybe a little is better all right now we fix this part okay we've done the curve we've done the color wheels now let's go to creative in the creative we're gonna increase the sharpness 32 30 32.3 then i will also increase the vibrance to bring more color you can see that 
If I go all the way, it's bad. So I'm gonna go where I feel it's decently good, probably 40. And then I'm gonna decrease the saturation because I will increase my saturation from the basic tab. So come back to basic. Now here you're gonna increase the saturation. Not too much again, you see how it's gonna go bad. Maybe 124 and then I'm gonna increase the contrast a little bit. All right, I think this looks perfect to me. The skin looks good, the grass looks good. And so this is where we started before and this is where we are after. Here we are now, let's watch before and after. So this is before this clip here and this is after. This is before this clip and this is after and finally this is before and this is after. As always, if you like this video and learn something new, give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Maybe they will learn something new as well. If you're new to the channel, then subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you won't miss any new videos on tips, tricks and new updates like this. I will see you again with another exciting video. Until then, my lovely friends, take care and keep creating.